for these gentlemen. Uh, front row right, Austin Ward, Letterman Rowe. Okay. Mecca, you certainly seem to be gaining some steam here over the last couple of weeks. Are you kicking yourself that you haven't finished one off yet? Or how do you feel like you're making an impact? Of? Yeah, you know, uh, I feel like it's definitely coming. It's something I just got to keep going at. But, you know, amazing blocks overall for my teammates. So, you know, we know we're going to bust them up and soon. So, just waiting on that. Uh, right next door to me, Larry Monroe. Yeah, Chris Olave, are, are you ever surprised that you break wide open? And I'm talking about, of course, that little skinny post, that little post you ran. Uh, for the one touchdown, especially. Uh, are you ever surprised by that? And just how would you rate your game today, et cetera? Uh, yeah, I'm not really surprised. I mean, we got one of the best play college in the country in the first day, so uh, we dialed it up in practice. Uh, we run exactly uh, in the game, how it is in practice. So uh, we just try to connect on that and uh, try to build on that. Yeah, and you came out of the slot there and stuff. Did you notice right away what they were in? And, it was going to be a big one if, if CJ sees you. Yeah, yeah, like I said, we ran in practice and uh, we got the same look in the game. Uh, we just had to bring it over to the game and connect on uh, Far left, uh, Patrick Murphy, 24 7 Sports. For Chris and Emeka, the, the ball's getting spread around. Um, for receivers, when, when you guys are getting involved in games, getting touches of the ball, how much better does that make the mood in the locker room for the offense and, and things like that when, when everyone's getting touches, everyone being productive? Uh, I feel like that's the type of offense where we have a lot of talent on the offensive side. Uh, when we get the run game and pass game going, I feel like the uh, run stoppable. So uh, once we get the pass game going early on, I feel like uh, the run game opens up and uh, we just uh, <coughs> build on that. All right behind him, Tony Gerben, Buckeye School. Mac, I know you got some grief from your teammates about getting caught on that 85 yarder. Any uh, any grief today from uh, any of the kick returns that didn't go the distance? Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find a way to finish one of those off. Would you need better blocking, perhaps? <laughs> no, blocking is great. Right. <laughs> uh, far right, uh, uh, Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. For Marcus, compared to early in the season, does it feel like the coaches are calling a more aggressive defense right now? And how are you guys taking advantage of that as you kind of build confidence? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily more aggressive. I think uh, as a team, you know, we're just showing that toughness on the field, and you know, it's shown in the plays. Um, so I wouldn't say we're changing too much stuff defensively. Uh, right behind him, Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Row. Marcus, you look pretty fired up on the field and you have a performance like you did after everybody praises the way you practiced this week. What does this game mean for you? Just personally, you, you've kind of put yourself in the back seat uh, for quite a while. What does it mean for you that it's what the way you did today? Um, you know, I'm born and bred in Ohio. You know, uh, it's, it's football stuff. It means a lot to my family. It means a lot to me. And um, you know, just be able to show that passion on the field, show that energy. Um, you know, means the world to me. Did I miss anyone else? Uh, front, front row left, Dan Holt, eleven Warriors. Yeah. Chris, you've been a part of some really good offenses here with Dwayne at quarterback, with Justin at quarterback. Now that this offense is really starting to find its stride, like how do you think this compares to the other <coughs> offenses you've been a part of? Uh, the new offenses are great, uh, but I feel like we're still good uh, with this offense. Uh, we're starting to. Uh, Build more chemistry, especially on game day. So I feel like this offense can be can be scary and unstoppable. Uh, we just got to keep building and keep getting better. Are you seeing like the same kind of things that maybe you saw in both seasons in terms of how you're building up? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, we started fast, but uh, we had a, a, lot, a couple mistakes uh, the first couple of weeks. But uh, we just keep building. Uh, last week and this week, uh, we're down here perfect. So uh, like I said, we just got to keep building and just have a plan. Uh, far left along the wall, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Chris, where do you feel the offense is most better now versus where it was maybe a month ago after the Oregon loss? Uh, we clean up the mistakes, a uh, little mistakes, a lot of penalties. Uh, we're connecting more on the outside, uh, getting the pass game going early on, and just having a balance on the, on the running game and pass game, and just spreading the ball around and showing everybody love. Uh, front row, uh, right over here, uh, Austin Ward, Letterman Row. Mark, is it the, if the scheme or the aggression feels about the same overall for the defense too? What is it that's that's fueling this improvement? Um, you know, I think uh, we all know we took it one on the chain early this season. Um, and just to be able to, to show up every day and go to work, um, it, it means a lot to us as a team. Uh, you know, we love the game, we love the play, and to be able to just put that on the field, you know, every day, show the practice, and then it come out on the show on Saturday. Um, I think uh, it's putting the world on notice, as you can see. 
Uh, over here to the right, back row right, Steve Hellwagon, 24-7 Sports. Hey, Chris, I want to ask about uh, the touchdown where the guys got a hold of you there and you wore him off somehow. Just what's going through your mind as he grabs you and the ball's in the air? Just what, what and how did that all play out for you? Uh, it was kind of there. It was good coverage. Uh, the, the ball was kind of uh, behind, but I just wanted to make a play. Uh, CJ has been playing great, and the offense has been playing great, so I just wanted to make a play for the team. Uh, ended up happening, so. Mark, if I can't remark, it's just the safety position. Looks like you've got five or six guys who are contributing right now. Hickman, Ransom, Martinez a little bit. Uh, everybody is really coming through. Seems like you guys are shifting between positions, even between series and everything. Just uh, how fluid is this offense and where everyone's playing in a given play? I suppose? Um, you know, I think we got a great coaching staff. Um, we're able to plug and play guys um, because we, they teach so well. You know, you, you learn the, the concept, you learn the position, you learn the defense. Um, so yeah, to be able to plug and play so many great players that, um, that you see flash, you know, week in and week out, um, I think it's it's helping us as a defense and as a team. And okay, we'll go last question for this uh, trio. Uh, front row, uh, Tim May, Leatherman Row. Hey, man, uh, uh, what, what is the key to a big time kickoff return? What is that first thought in your mind that, uh, yeah, I'm taking it back now, I'm looking for this. And, what did you see today a couple of times and just told you? Yeah. Uh, the first thing is got to be definitely securing the catch, you know, rocking into it, getting momentum with that catch, and, you know, just hitting it downhill full speed as fast as you can, reading out the blocks, um, and really just trusting your off returners. We've got great off returners in uh, Steel Chambers and Xavier Johnson, just trusting them and following them through the holes and just, you know, um, trying to make something happen. Yeah, and did Coach Fleming and Coach Day, did they tell y'all y'all were going to be aggressive, y'all were going to return some kicks today? I mean, I Going into the game, was that kind of a plan? Our mindset is to return every kick if we can, if we have the opportunity. So we're always looking to break one open. We know we have the, the best kickoff return unit in the nation, and you know we're here to prove it.